Today I'm going to talk with you about avoiding the mistake, well, two costly application mistakes that so many people make, and they do prove costly. I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. People hire me for no BS job search advice and career coaching globally because I make the process so much easier for people. I worked in recruiting for many years. I now host a site called jobsearch.community. It is fabulous with courses and books and guides. And depending upon the tier you choose, I answer questions from you either daily as an insider, or you can schedule time to get me on a Zoom call as an Insider Plus member, or I do group and individual coaching as a premium member. So again, that's jobsearch.community and the homepage has a lot of free stuff for you too. So definitely go over there and go explore it. What are these two mistakes? Now, I want to be clear. We're not talking about a missed period or a comma. And I'm not going to talk with you about spelling mistakes because that would be dumb. Always run your stuff through a spell checker. Always run your stuff through a grammar checker. But let me tell you about two things I think people do wrong. The first one is, you know, especially with older jobs, how do you really remember the date that you went to work at a firm and your exact salary. Now, I know I talk to a lot of very experienced people and they have to complete a form that may go back 15 or 20 years. Do you really remember your starting salary and the month and date that you started a firm? Always use the phrase approx next to it if you're not sure. Having had to field calls from people who after they started were confronted with inaccuracies and fired because they had the wrong date or the wrong salary information about a job from their past, whether intentional or unintentional, it's a horrible thing to go through. You work so hard to get an interview, you work so hard to get hired and to have that blow up on you, whether in good times or in bad times, it's, it's terrible. So that's mistake number one. Always use that little phrase, approx, for approximately, if you're not sure. And if they ask you about it, say, just simply say, I wasn't exactly sure the month I went to work there in 2004, or the date, uh, or the exact salary I started at, at the time that I joined. And you, I'm just trying to be honest with you. So that's mistake number one. Here's the bigger one. And that's not using the, the application as anything more than a regurgitation of everything on your resume. They don't really care about everything that you've ever done. They care about certain things that might have been in the job ad, might have been in a job description that you saw, might have been mentioned to you by a person who referred you to them. And you talk about everything as opposed to zeroing in on what's most important to them. And thus you can say, you know, I've done a lot of things, but what seems most relevant in my background for this role is that I've done this, that, this, that, that I understand relates to the role involved. I've also been involved with such and such, but what's probably most relevant in my background is this, that, this, that. And thus you miss the opportunity for an HR person who may or may not be competent, uh, most are, but there's still a lot who aren't. It's a big country, it's a big world. Not everyone in HR is as good as someone else. So I'm not trying to demean anyone, I'm trying to protect you as a job hunter, that you emphasize the things that matter to the employer as you understand it. I'm Jeff Altman, I hope you found this helpful. My website I want to bring you to is jobsearch.community. Go to the site, there's free information on the homepage, and then consider becoming an insider, an Insider Plus member, or a premium member, so I can help you personally. You matter to me, and that's why I created this site with all my content there, all my video courses, all my books and guides, a ton there to help you, as opposed to having you pay much more for individual products and services. So again, become an insider or an insider plus member or a premium member as you see fit. 
Also, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Have a terrific day and be great.